Hi, my name is Jonathan Turner. I'm a graduate of DCU. I graduated here in 1998 in business studies. I then moved over to London and I set up, I got involved in the telecoms industry. I set up my first business in 2002. I set up another business in 05. We actually acquired another business in 03. Um, and over the way, I exited along three of those businesses, culminating in the last exit in November 2009. Since that time, I'm now a corporate financier. I get involved in both selling companies and investing directly into companies ourselves. And what I want to do today is I want to start by asking you some questions. I want to ask you who this is. Spider-Man. Fantastic. So what do we know about Spider-Man? Well, he's got spidey sense. We know he's got super strength. We know he's really fast. Who's this? OK, what do we know about Captain America? Captain America has this super serum, and it brings out the very best in all his human capabilities. He's super fast. He's super strong. He's super smart. Wonder Woman, fantastic. My personal favorite, not surprisingly. <laughs> Wonder Woman, Amazonian princess, known for her speed, her strategic ability, and her street fighting capabilities. Does anyone know who this is? Now, I, <laughs> now I asked someone earlier today, I said, do you know who this is? And they said, well, that must be Bonya Man, the Irish superhero. <laughs> well, in this instance, it isn't. But actually, this is the Night Warrior, gardener by day, he is a superhero by night. Does anyone know who this is? Yeah, fantastic. What a brilliant story. I'm, I'm sure some of you are aware of this, but for those that aren't, this is a very young child. He suffered from leukemia, and he wrote a letter to the Make-A-Wish Foundation in the United States. And he said, I want to be Batman for a day. The Make-A-Wish Foundation used social media to put out the message to the US people. 7,000 people turned up on the streets of San Francisco and made his dream come true. 7,000 people. That's absolutely amazing. He got, a, he got a letter from President Obama to say, well done. Does anyone know who this is? No, close, close, very close. Larry Page. And the whole point here is that the nature of what we consider as our heroes today has changed. In the past, it may have been about superheroes, but today, it's also about entrepreneurs and entrepreneurship. So my point today is that anyone can be a superhero. And really, it's about what you consider within yourself and who you are as a person and what you also think about your business and how your business is structured and how you market and position your business in the marketplace today. This is Gary. Gary is a superhero. Gary helped pull together this presentation in the last 24 hours. <laughs> He'll love that when he watches this one back. Hawkeye, human calculator, and an absolute genius in terms of his web and his networking abilities. What I want to think, you guys to think about now is what superhero are you? And what superhero are the organizations that you work for and the companies that you work in and the entities and the communities that you interact with. If you think about yourself as a superhero, and you think about these organizations as a superhero as well. So what is this kind of brand you concept? I want you to think about two things, and I want to spend a little bit of time on this. I want you to think about who you are inside, and then how you convey that message to the outside world. Who you are inside is really about you, and you've got to really truly understand that. So for me, my superhero capabilities might be the fact that I don't mind a little bit of risk. I don't mind, I believe that fortune favors the brave at the end of the day. I'm very driven, I'm very passionate. It's helped me to start a number of businesses. I love what I do today, and maybe that's a real reflection of, uh, of me. I've always done what I absolutely love and what I get incredibly passionate about. But you've got to understand who you are. And this goes for both you as individuals and you as people, and indeed those organizations that you're in. You've got to understand those facts. And then you've got to figure out how you convey it to the outside world. So you've got to understand who you are on the inside, and then how you relay that message. And I see that in two forms. I see that both digitally and physically. 
physically, it's really about people by people at the end of the day. And I spend a great deal of my time today in helping people understand how they position themselves and sell themselves, usually as investments to the investment community. But really, a lot of that comes down to understanding who they are as people and what they are, and reflecting on the fact that at the end of the day, people by people. So fix up, look sharp, and think about how you're perceived by other, by other people that you, that you speak to. Then you've got to understand things from a digital perspective. And this is how you relay who you are inside. And remember, this isn't just about you. This is about your organizations as well. How you relay and convey that to the outside world. So it's about social media interaction. It's about email. And now, increasingly, it's about video and how video can be utilized. So I want you to really think like a superhero. Because today, the entire nature and structure of our organizations have changed. Now, it's not about the hierarchical structures. It's not about the people at the top of the organization telling the people below what they need to do. Social media, and as, we, as, our, as our entire makeup of, uh, of people and as, as cultures have changed, now these superheroes can be anywhere within your organization. You can drive change. You don't have to be at the top of a company. It doesn't matter whether it's in a company, whether it's in government, whether it's in the university, whether it's in a hospital. Once you decide to drive change, you can do that because now organizational structures are very different. So I want you to think about rather than just one, one superhero, now it's about the team of superheroes. It's about the Avengers. It's all of these different people in terms of what they are on the outside and what they are on the inside. So to conclude, I want to, I want to ask you one question. Down here somewhere, I've got one of these. And you all know what this is. Well, I said I'd like to take a bit of risk. In 2003, I had, uh, 2002 actually, I'd left Nortel Networks, the company that I worked with, and I went out on my own and I set up a consultancy business. And in order to get my first customers, we had very little startup capital. I had the redundancy money that I had taken from Nortel and that was about it. So I got on a plane and I flew out to the Middle East. And I had the gas mask because in March 2003, I was on the last commercial flight into Kuwait before the war. No one knew what was going to happen, but off the back of that, I built a $10 million a year business. And with starting with zero capital, by getting my customers to prepay me up front, I ended up with over a million dollars in my bank account within a couple of months of starting. So I firmly believe that at the end of the day, fortune favors the brave, and you've got to take your own risks. So I want to leave you with one point. I want you to think about you have to run in the dark to enjoy your time in the light. Thank you very much.